guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm doing something that's been long awaited but now since we have a new release, I thought it's the perfect time. So I'm going to be ranking all of my Jeffree Star palettes. I currently own six. I'm only missing one palette and that is the Alien palette. For whatever reason, the color story just did not speak to me with that one so I just skipped it all together. So yeah guys, if you want to hear me rank all of my Jeffree Star palettes, then please keep watching. Okay guys, let's jump right into it. So let's start with the bottom of the barrel. Now, this is not to say I don't like the palette or that I'm not happy to have it in my collection. It's just honestly for me, the color story is just a little bit hard to work with and it's just not something I feel like I'm going to reach for over all the other Jeffree Star palettes I have. And that is the Mini Controversy palette. So this guy goes for $28 US and $36 Canadian. There's a total of nine shades, three shimmer shades and six matte shades. And yeah guys, I don't know what it is. I did a, actually a tutorial on this palette. I can actually link that in the card. So I had to wipe my eye look off twice before I found something that I liked. So I don't know if it's just that there's, I don't know what it is. I really don't know. It's a beautiful palette, but the quality is there. It's still Jeffree Star's quality. It's just that I find it hard. I don't like to have to reach into another palette to make a palette work. I just don't like to do that. It's not something that I think makes a palette complete. I like when you can complete a look with just one guy. So yeah, this for me, is, if you were thinking about getting it, I do think there's still a couple available. Um, it didn't sell out as crazily as the Conspiracy palette did. But yeah, guys, this would be on the bottom of my list in terms of wearability, in terms of just generally goodness, this would be the bottom of my list. Moving on to the next, not to say I don't love this palette, that would be lying. I honestly am in love with it. I still think it is so beautiful, but I honestly really don't get a lot of use out of it. It's not very often you're gonna jump in to reach for a blue look to just go out the door. Like blue is very, very in your face. So while I am happy that I have it in my collection because it's Jeffree Star quality shadows in a shade that I don't have, it's not something I reach for 24 seven just because again, blues are really hard to work with. For me specifically, I don't know, like leave me a comment down below. Like are blues specifically and particularly hard to work with? Because for me, I do have like problems with it for whatever reason, I find it challenging. But yeah, guys, it is beautiful. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood Palette. This goes for $52 US and $68 Canadian. It has a total of 18 shades, six shimmer shades and 12 matte shades. And yeah, guys, it's there's nothing wrong with the palette, nothing against it. If you're a fan of blue shadows and can actually pull it off and wear them all the time, you will not be disappointed in this guy. But in terms of for me and in my collection, I don't reach for it very often, if, if at all. This would be the next on the list in terms of my least loved, even though I still love it, Jeffree Star palettes. Okay guys, now moving on to the next. Now, I love this palette and I actually, unlike the mini controversy, I can complete tons of looks with it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, if we're going to be ranking the palettes, this is where this one would fall. So this is the Mini Breaker palette. This guy goes for $28 US and $36 Canadian. It has a total of nine shades, four shimmer shades and five matte shades. Now, if we look at this, like, I mean, absolutely beautiful. Like I, right before this came out, actually ordered a bunch of ColourPop shadows because I was like, I'm so upset Jeffrey doesn't have purples. I just want purples. And then he came out with this and it honestly looks almost identical to what I created with the ColourPop singles, but it's Jeffrey's formula. So it's obviously top notch. I love this guy. If you wanted like a pop of color that's a little bit smaller, travel friendly to add to your collection, I would definitely go for this over the mini controversy. I love this one. I've done tons of looks with it, but yeah, this would be the next on the list. And moving on to the next palette. Now, for whatever reason, when I was researching to find out the prices again, because I don't remember them all, Thirsty is actually not on his website, but I really, really love this palette. Now it is still available for whatever reason on Beautylish, it's just not available on his website. I don't know if it was limited edition just with him and they have like some limited stock of it left. I'm not quite sure. This is the Thirsty palette. This went for $48 US.
US and $56 Canadian. It has a total of 15 shades, 10 matte shades, and five glitter shimmer toppers. So I actually used this guy to death when it was all, all I had was blood sugar and thirsty. I used this guy to death. I love the orange shades in here. I know a big complaint with this palette was that it wasn't as pigmented as we're used to seeing from Jeffree. I feel like the brown was never really like deep enough. I feel like if he added a little bit of pigment there or just made it slightly deeper, a lot more could have been done with the palette. But I love this guy. I think it's so tropical and pretty. I actually love these glitter toppers. This one here, it's called Filthy Rich. It has gold and silver flecks in it. Ugh, I, I still to this day use and love this palette. And moving on to our next palette. Now this one is relatively new, but boy did it jump up fast on the scales. This is the Conspiracy palette. Now this guy went for $52 US and $68 Canadian. It has a total of 18 shades, seven shimmer shades, as well as 11 matte shades. I love, 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 love this palette. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed using it. I've done a bunch of different videos using it. I will link those down below as well as in the cards. Now this top row here is honestly, it's what makes the palette Shane. Oh my god, I just dug my finger in. <laughs> This makes it so user-friendly, so approachable, like someone who's afraid of color and wouldn't delve into one of Jeffree's other palettes would absolutely have no problem trying this one out because they will get a tons of use of that first row. Now, this colorful part is all Jeffree and I just love the way these two combined on this palette. I will use the death out of this. I'm so happy I got it. And if you guys didn't know, I actually got my hands on two of these and I am doing a giveaway currently. So make sure you check out one of the videos linked down below on how to enter the giveaway and yeah guys moving on to the next now it was really hard for me to decide this to be completely honest with you it took a lot of back and forth and discussing with my best friend to figure out if this was actually going to be bumped off of number one but the next palette that I'm going to be talking about on the list, number two, is the Blood Sugar palette. Now, I have a special place in my heart for this palette. It was my first Jeffree Star palette, my first really colorful palette, and honestly, it changed me in the biggest way. I totally just was never afraid of color again once I delved into this palette. Before I was afraid to use color on my eyes, I was just shy about it, afraid that I couldn't pull it off. but. This is beautiful. Now, you can also get super neutral looks out of here. Like, it's just, it, it has everything. It's such a stunning palette. I could go on and on about this palette. Like, wow, wow, I love it. So this is the Blood Sugar palette. This one is $52 US and $68 Canadian. It has a total of 18 shades, four shimmer shades, and 14 matte. And guys, I have never not loved a look using this palette. I'm completely in love with it. If you were ever considering getting a Jeffree Star palette and you're a little bit afraid of, well, you can't get your hands on the conspiracy one because it's sold out, and you're a little bit afraid of the bright colors in the others, you will not regret having this as part of your collection you will get use out of it you will fall in love with it just as much as I have highly suggest this palette and it is number two for sure now moving on to the number one Jeffree Star palette I own that is the Jawbreaker palette so this goes for $58 US and $67 Canadian it has a total of 24 shades six shimmer shades and 18 mattes Guys, I, 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 where do I even start with this palette? It is literally everything I've ever wanted, anything I could ever hope for from Jeffree. You can do absolutely 1,001 looks with it. I bet there's a YouTube video on that somewhere. With this brown here and this cone shade here, you can pretty much do any neutral look any colorful look the fact that there's a yellow shimmer a red shimmer and an orange shimmer like i have been waiting for that i just was like when i saw this i was actually just about to board a plane leaving italy coming back to canada 
When I saw the previews of this palette, I literally almost had a heart attack and died. Like, it was literally everything I ever wanted. The perfect summer palette. You can use it for fall, you can use it for spring, for winter. These blues in here, this pop of blue. Oh, just absolutely stunning. In my opinion, if I was going to get rid of all my other palettes and keep one, it would be this guy. By the way, saying that just like medium broke my heart. I never want to get rid of my Jeffree palettes. I'm completely in love with them. Beyond my favorite palettes in my collection. Jawbreaker definitely takes the cake. It's the number one palette. If you were ever curious about it, definitely give it a go. If you need a who doesn't? If you need a rainbow palette for your collection, you will not regret having this. I can say it until I'm blue in the face, guys. Jeffree Star quality shadows are unlike anything on the market. They are the perfect amount of pigmented to the point where you can still blend it out, but you're still getting that pop of color. I cannot get enough of his eyeshadow palettes. I'm completely in love with them. I know there's been rumblings about Bloodline. I believe that's gonna be his like winter collection that's coming out. I think there was a little leak there was a little leak. You know how he does those bundles of, of little mini lipsticks? It was called Queen Bitch and it was black and purple. I will die if this palette is black and purple, the Bloodline palette. I cannot wait for it to come out. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have a ton of other Jeffree content. I will link a playlist right here. If you guys are interested in Jeffree Star's videos, definitely check that out. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.